Knoxville, on the other hand, I'm not too fond of just because he's the one who introduced me to Adderall and then he made me get off of it cold turkey and he still takes it. I have a sour taste in my mouth about Jeff Tremaine. He only gave Poopies the new guy $35,000 of a movie that made $100 million in the box office. Bam Margera left the Florida Recovery Center and was discovered after only a few days in sobriety. The alcoholism and drug addiction past of Bam Margera is not a new topic in the skateboarding world. However, his departing the rehab clinic after the judge's ruling and before the end of the two-week period is surprising. We'll go over every single update in history of Bam's addiction as well as the reasons for it in this video. Bam has been spotted losing control and drinking without restraint since 2011, when his best friend Ryan Dunn lost his life. There was a time when Bam barricaded himself in the basement and continued to watch him and Ryan in old movies and video clips. It's no surprise that Ryan's backing for Margera from the start of their careers will be remembered by any fan of the skateboarding specialty. When the accident occurred, Ryan was traveling through Chester County, Pennsylvania. On the 20th of June 2011, he wasn't alone. In fact, he was accompanied by Zachary Hartwell, a jackass production assistant. Dunn's Porsche veered off the road and collided with a tree before erupting into flames. At the same moment, Ryan and Zachary died. <laughs> <laughs> I've never lost anybody that I care about. <laughs> it's my best friend. <laughs> Although it has been more than 10 years since Ryan's untimely death, Bam's words during his interview with Fox 29 can never be considered old because of the real pain in them. At the point of explaining the news how we got to know about Ryan's death, Bam broke down in tears saying, I was in Arizona when I heard. I was with some friends having the best time ever, and at 12.30 I just started punching out the windows of the rental van and ripping out the speakers. I don't even know why. I wasn't mad at anything or anybody. And if it was 12.30 there, that means it was exactly when he crashed. Next, as the interview got cut away, Chris O'Connell shared that Bam told him, Everyone in the world knew Dunn as that guy with the crazy antics and stunts in the Jackass movies, but that he knew Dunn like no one else in the world, like his brother. He will never recover. It seems like he never really did, but as per the legal representation, represented by The Blast, Bam commented, I did not have any issues with addiction and drug use until I began my involvement with the Jackass franchise. It was not until then that I became dependent on Adderall and pain medications to maintain the focus needed to satisfy the production schedule of defendants for my various television and motion picture projects and to manage the pain associated with the injuries I suffered performing the stunts in those productions. In 2015, after seeing her child suffer and break down on multiple occasions, Bam's mother April Margera called for the therapy. April Margera once commented, If you had told me that I would have a drunken suicidal son at any point, I wouldn't have believed you. I worry about him every day. When he gets drunk and tells me he wants to not be here anymore, we feel this complete and utter fear. Even Phil, Bam's father, opened up about Bam's substance abuse and eating disorder on Viceland's episode Epically Latered, but in 2015, after agreeing with the TMZ and remaining three months sober while talking about the treatment of Dr. Jen Mann, it can be seen he was getting better. Bam's mother told the world how he became a completely different person after getting this treatment and how it was a miracle. Later in the same year, 2015, Bam can be seen broadcasting his new sober life away from any addiction on WMMR, sharing how he's doing great because of his longtime friends. But unfortunately, in 2017, he shared the truth of his relapse disclosure 2016 during an interview with Jenkin Magazine. This got us to know that he did slip for once. There had also been a time when Bam can be seen posting a request video on his Instagram asking Dr. Phil to help him once again in getting sober. Bam appeared to be a person who had his life covered from all angles till 2017. By the end of December 2017, Bam had announced the birth of his kid, Phoenix Wolf, which had a significant impact on his ability to stay sober. On January 7th, 2018, he was detained for the second time on DUI charges in Los Angeles, California. According to Page Six's allegations, he was sentenced to prison, which Bam was able to avoid in the end. According to the report, Bam Margera just avoided jail time in his DUI case, instead getting probation, AA meetings, and some fines and fees. Here, instead of jail, Bam received a three-year of probation and a residential rehab program. In 2019, during his rehab journey, Bam can be seen saying, writing is one thing to do in rehab. During his previous decision of leaving the rehab center, Bam shared a picture of the handwritten written on his Instagram profile where he mentioned, I have spent enough time grieving over Ryan Dunn through alcohol. I'm 39 years old, the party is over. I don't plan on drinking anymore. I have wasted too much time at the bad, and all of my friends who needed decades of help are now all sober. I would like to join the sober parade. Bam Margera's newest news list that his actions haven't yielded any favorable consequences up to now. After taking another position on the sobriety parade, 
It's no surprise that whether you're a regular person or a celebrity, you can't avoid health problems. According to a report in People magazine, Margera said he still plans to stay sober, which seems to be fully dependent on Bam's mood. But who knows what will happen the next morning, given that we've already seen people improve dramatically after striking the rock bottom. Bam met the famous tattoo artist and sober celebrity Kat Von D in 2019, when he was trying his hardest to conquer his troubles, and from there we learned about his rehab experience once more. Kat Von D captioned a photo of herself and Bam sketching a tattoo on a white pad with the caption, On day two of detoxing, I was failing to talk myself out of killing myself when a friend came over. Come on Kat, get up and let's draw. I managed to scrape myself up somehow, find a piece of paper and whatever pencils were laying around. Bam Margera has been attempting to get back on his feet, but his efforts have so far failed. Bam can be heard fleeing the facility in defiance of the court order after receiving an order to enter rehab. According to a police complaint obtained by News Channel 8, Bam went missing after leaving the Delray Beach Institution. According to the rehab manager, Bam expressed dissatisfaction with the services he was receiving and planned to transfer to a nearby rehab. According to them, Margera left in a black Honda sedan. Bam was in treatment due of a court injunction under the Marchman Act, according to the rehab center. However, according to the report, he was not a threat to anyone else. As per officer, an attempt was made to locate Margera at the redacted, but I received negative results. He was taken to Don Caesar Resort Hotel in St. Petersburg last year at a rehab facility for the same alleged disturbance and issues, as stated by TMZ. The Pinellas County Sheriff quoted, when deputies arrived, they were informed that Mr. Margera had an ex-part order, which is a judge's order for a court-ordered rehabilitation. Those are taken out by a third party on behalf of the person. Now that Margera got online and posted a picture quoting MMA fighter, chiropractor, and 10 years sober Dominic as my new AA sponsor, made it easy for the police to find him. This must be difficult for Bam Margera, especially because this week could be Ryan's 45th birthday. TMZ reports that Bam can appear fully sober and cooperative on Wednesday, despite the reality that he was found by the crisis intervention team and taken back to the exam center. According to reports, Bam was scheduled to go to outpatient therapy for several months after completing a 12-month sober recovery program in Florida. Bam has also filed a lawsuit against Paramount Pictures and the film's co-creators Jeff Tremaine and Johnny Knoxville, alleging that he was unlawfully sacked. According to him, the production compelled him to give urine samples, submit to breathalyzer tests, and even videotape him while he was on antidepressants. With the Variety magazine interview, Johnny can be heard saying that limiting Bam's scream time wasn't an easy decision for them. According to the official Twitter feed of Mel Magazine, sharing Bam Margera hurt himself for us, he deserves our support now. No wonder the amount of constant paparazzi surveillance and expectation pressure of the current generation does sound like a big thing, especially for the person dealing with mental issues. Even celebs like Mike Busey have been seen coming forward and tweeting about Bam's disappearance. A few minutes ago, CBS Morning officially shared the news of Bam Margera is no longer missing, police in Florida say. One of the fans commented, I hope Bam is found safely. The fact that he went missing a few days after Ryan Dunn's birthday is really sad. Bam Margera, if you're seeing this, people love you. What should he be undertaking in your opinion? Feel free to express your thoughts in the comments area.